Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to quickly create API gateways for uh, get, post, patch, delete. And then we are going to see and test in the postman whether our APIs are working fine or not. Okay, let's quickly create those. Open the AWS Lambda and search for API gateway. <coughs> create api here we are going to create a rest api okay so this is the last four ox with the lambda function build new api okay api name let's keep it as api only okay description is optional api endpoint is regional keep everything as it is create api now it has created the api but we have not configured the routes so whether it's a get route, post route, or anything. So what we are going to do is first is create resources. Okay, create resources. In here, select the resource path. First resource name, let's say API. Okay. In here, make sure to enable cross origin resource sharing. Create resource. Okay. In here, let's create a get method first. Okay, click on the API here, create method. Method name is get, it's a lambda function. You can select the lambda proxy integration or leave it as is. Okay, uh, let's select the lambda proxy integration. You assist, you need to select the lambda function. Our current lambda function is AWS lambda cred API. Select the lambda function, leave everything as it is. Select create method. Now we have just created the get method. Okay, let's create the post method. Create method in the same way. Post enable is select AWS lambda cred API. Create method. Okay, for creating update and patch methods or delete methods, we need to accept an ID, right? ID for that particular uh, object or that entry. So what we are going to do is we are going to create one more resource here, create resource. The resource name will be, let's ID, because this is a variable. It will change based on the request. So this will be putting in the curly braces create resource in this id we are going to create method that is first one is let's say delete enable this select your lambda function create method one more method patch for updating same here create method now we have created all the required methods okay now we need to deploy we have just created the method we did not deploy it to deploy it select on deploy we need to create a stage let's say new stage the new stage name will be production we are creating a staging in the production let's say project production environment stage name is production and deploy it These are our APIs rules. Okay. To access this get method, this is the URL. Whenever you call this URL, it will call the get method. The get method, let's go to lambda function. Whenever the HTTP method is get, what it will do is okay, make sure to deploy your code. If you are not deployed, it will not be effective. So whenever you call the get method, whenever the HTTP method is get, what it will do is it will collect, execute the collection dot find and return the documents available. For this, you need to open the post pan for testing this out. Let's copy it. Let's open the post pan. Here, 
select get body none okay let's see if there are any others we will go back add check again so okay here it is showing internal server error it is showing some errors here we will check what's wrong with this it is showing bad gateway what does that mean we will come back to it okay let's check for the error let's do one thing let's test it in the aws portal only okay this is your aws lambda function make sure you have deployed this okay click on deploy if you have not deployed this next go to the api gateway our api okay click on the api make sure it is showing in integration request lambda proxy integration is true okay for all the things make sure it is showing like that now let's go to get and test it click on the test here okay here api get test we are there are no query strings or headers for the get so click on the test if there are any errors like bad gateway or anything it will show here so our api request status 200 that means success it is the time taken response body these are some sample data i have inserted in the database okay now let's create a post request in the post request you need to have a, a json body that is let's say in the request body you can just type like uh, hello ben okay this is my json this is the request body now i want to test it okay this is su inserted successfully so sh we should go to mongodb and check whether this entry has been inserted hello ben but also we can just go to get method and press test because it will fetch already existing data no go to that let's see Let's do one thing. We'll again go back to the postman and check. In here, this is the get method. The get method URL we already know. We have tested earlier. Okay. This if you use the get method, click on execute. Okay. Now our entry was hello Ben, right? It should be at the bottom. Okay. This is hello ben. this is the entry okay again i will show you this is the get method if you want to insert some values okay let's select here raw format json you can let's say again when okay this is our url okay this is post method this is our url Whenever you hit an URL, it will check for the HTTP method. If it's the post method, it will ex execute the corresponding function. Let's click on send. Inserted successfully. Our entry was again then. So again, go to get method. Since we are using the same URL for get and post methods, using the get method with the same URL. Okay. We have a lot of data 26,000 lines of entry, so it's taking some time again. Then, so we have successfully fed the data from the MongoDB, inserted the data into MongoDB. Let's take some ID. This is the ID, right? This is the ID of this entry. What we'll do is we'll use the delete method, delete method API. This is our query parameter ID. Let's see. 
item deleted successfully with the item id of 580 that is file number last entry right again bell so what we'll do is we'll go to get method again to check whether it's actually removed from the mongodb you can also directly go to the mongodb collection and check see our again bell has been removed we can also if you want to remove hello bell we can do the same thing again so what we have then is we have created get post delete and patch methods we have written the created the api gate phase for the same and we have written the python programs associating each http method to particular function okay this is the end of this tutorial thank you